Hey art friends, today we're going to draw a dahlia, which is a really cool flower and it's fun to draw. It's super easy too. I hope you're going to follow along with me. I hope you have a marker and some paper in front of you. If I go too fast, you can always pause the video. Now, one thing I want to mention before we start this lesson is that next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we won't be posting a video. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be back on Thursday and Friday. So during that time when you really need to draw something, we don't have a new video, you can always check out some of our past lessons. All right, now the first step for our flower is we're gonna start right in the middle of our paper and we're gonna draw little loops that go around in a circle. So we're gonna draw little U shapes, go around like this, and we're gonna create just a really small flower. Now we're gonna go around and we're gonna create another row of that same, that same design. So we're going to go around and each of the U's that are connected make a petal and we want to make sure that we're layering it. So do you see I started another layer and you can just keep going around and we're going to build up our flower until it gets pretty big. All right, our flower is huge. Now you can keep going if you want. You don't have to stop there, but that was a lot of fun. I hope you had fun doing that also. Now the cool thing about this is we're gonna draw another one just like that right next to it. And so we're gonna start again. We're gonna do the same steps. We're gonna draw the inside of our flower first. So we're just gonna draw a couple of them, keep it really small. And then we're gonna build that next layer go all the way around, just like that. And then we can build another one on top of it. This is a lot of fun. And it's, a, it's just a cool design. It's actually kind of relaxing. And you, the fun thing is, is it's not really hard to remember the steps. And so you can draw this flower anywhere. All right, I drew a couple more flowers. This one's a lot smaller. You don't have to draw them really big. You can keep them small just like this. And then this one, it got so big that it actually ran into the other one. And that makes it look like the flowers are overlapping. So that's a fun thing to do too. You don't have to stop it so there's a space in between. You can run them right into each other. All right, now let's draw the stems. So we're gonna draw this first stem and they're really long. So we're gonna draw the first line. We're gonna curve it down. So it comes down to the bottom of our paper and then we're going to draw another stem right next to it or another line for the other side of the stem right next to it. Isn't that cool? Okay, now let's draw the stem for this one. So we're gonna, I'm going to curve it the other direction and we'll draw another line next to it. Okay, and then let's draw this one. I'm going to draw the stem curving same direction as the first one. All right, we got the three stems in there. Now this one is gonna be a little more tricky because it's gonna go behind the other flowers. So let's draw the first line and it's gonna run in. We're gonna imagine it going behind, coming through and then going behind this one, and coming out the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the other side of that stem. We're gonna go right next to it, go behind and come through. It's going to pop out the bottom and then finish down here at the bottom, just like the other stems. Okay, now if we want, we could draw some leaves too. So I'm going to draw a line that comes out and then we're going to draw the leaf shape that goes around it. So a big curve and then a curve back. Now right here, we could draw the other side. I forgot we should have drawn this first, the other side to that, the stem that goes to the leaf. Now we could do that same thing over here. So let's repeat those steps. We draw a line that comes out. And then we're going to draw a line right next to it for the other side of the, the stem. And then we're going to draw that leaf shape. So draw a big curve that comes out. And then back in. There we go. All right, that looks cool. Now you could draw a lot more leaves on this, but we're gonna leave it just like this. Now we're gonna put our marker off to the side and color our dahlia. Now these flowers actually come in all different kinds of colors. And so you could ask your parents or an adult to help you search for this flower on Google and then look at all the different colors and try to match that one. For this project, I'm gonna use red, 
orange, and green. And I'll show you how to, I'm gonna color this small one first and then we'll fast forward the rest. So I'm gonna color the whole flower orange first. Then I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna go around the outside and I'm gonna start really dark on the outside and then as I get to the middle, I'm gonna get lighter. That way the middle of the flower is orange and the outside is red. That's a really simple way to color these flowers. Now I'm gonna fast forward and color the rest of them. All right, we finished coloring the rest of our flowers and also the stems. Now I used light green for the leaves and the stems and then used a dark green to add shading underneath the flowers. So where the stem goes underneath the flower, it's darker because that's where the shadow is. I also added a few extra leaves in the background and you guys could do the same. You could add more leaves and more flowers to really fill up the page. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and we'll see you later our friends, goodbye.